What is up, my clan? Welcome back to Riffing with Clintus. Yes, this still is a thing. Uh, I've just been super busy, and there's just been a lot going on uh, in life in general. Uh, a lot of things going on with Twitch and streaming, and even on the YouTube channel, there's a lot's happened uh, in the last couple of months. And unfortunately, the podcast is just one of those things where it just kind of takes a back seat when other things are going on. Um, but I don't have, I didn't have a vlog today. Uh, there, no, no vlog went up today. And that's mainly because I literally have, I haven't shot anything, uh, in almost two weeks. I haven't vlogged anything. Um, the last thing I vlogged was when the kids went back to school, they started school, they're back to school full time, five days a week. And Bryce is in high school, which is pretty awesome. Um, so there's just a lot of things that have been going on and there's a lot of things I want to update you guys on. And because I don't vlog every day, I don't vlog, uh, you know, on a regular cadence, I was like, well, how do I, you know, update you guys on all the things? Ding, ding, ding. That's what the podcast is for. Long form content. Um, and we're going to get to Clintus TV uh, some at some point in this podcast. So stay tuned. If you're watching this on YouTube right now, hi, um, there will be some updates about Clintus TV because I've got some cool ideas um, about the channel and kind of like where I'm taking the content. Cause at the moment right now, I'll be honest with you. I'm kind of, I'm kind of stuck in the mud with, with Clintus TV. Cause I just don't know what, I just don't know what to do with the con the channel because I, I just, I'm not in a vlogging mood and I not even a mood. I just, for those of you, we've talked about this a thousand times, I'm sorry, but this is my life and this is my content. And Clintus TV has been part of my life for 15 years. Like, think about that for just a moment, right? Like, I'll be 40 this year. So, like, almost a third of my life has been YouTube. So it's a big deal. And it's it's just, it's, it just is what it is, right? If I, I think if I was a, a professional athlete or something like that, I'm talking about whatever sport it is I'm playing in the league and the team and it'd be the same thing, right? Anyway, so we're gonna talk about Clintus TV uh, here. So stay tuned for updates on the channel and, and the con and content. But a lot of stuff going on, and I'm just gonna I made myself a little list here, and I just kind of want to run down the list of everything that's been going on. You've probably heard about some things here and there if you follow me on uh, any of the socials, um, if you watch me on Twitch. You know, I I update everybody every morning on Twitch. So you know, if you're a long time vlog fan a long time youtube fan and then you're 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 been missing out on like the details of like our life like what we're doing what's bryce doing what's sierra doing what's what's going on with the dog and your family and this and that like i literally talk about all those things on stream every morning like literally the first hour of every live stream on twitch it's not video games it's not just video games we will sit there for an hour i'm sipping my coffee from king's coast coffee and i will Talk about my day, talk about my, my weekend, talk about the night before, talk about the next day, you know, whatever. And, you know, people come in and out. It's a, I use the bar reference all the time. Like it's a, it's a bar, right? I'm sitting there. I'm the bartender. People come in and out of a bar all day long, right? Just like a coffee shop, right? And that's the thing people don't understand with like the view count. They, they, they see the view count. And they're like, oh, you only have 80 viewers. You only have 70 viewers. It's like at this exact moment, there are only... 75 people sitting at my bar but come back in an hour and that number might be higher or lower just like a real bar just like a real coffee shop right you walk into starbucks sometimes there's no line you walk in you walk straight up to the barista you order your coffee have a nice day sometimes you walk in and there's a line right like it, it's just that's the nature of a live broadcast versus a youtube video where it's like someone walked in and someone's clicking the little clicker at the door we had a thousand customers today, right? Every time someone walks in there, click, click, click. That's YouTube. Live stream is different. Anyway, I talk about this all day long. So the first hour is usually updates on what's going on, what's been going on. And then throughout the day, as people come and go, I tend to ask, answer the same questions all day long. You know, what'd you do this weekend? What was for dinner last night? What are the kids up to? How are the kids doing? You know, blah, 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 blah. So if you're in my stream for any period of time, you hear me answer the same questions multiple times. So if you're looking for updates on a regular basis, I highly encourage you to come by my Twitch channel during the day while I'm live, right? I stream Monday through Friday. Um, right now I'm doing 9 a.m. start time. So 9 a.m. Arizona time. And I go till about 4 or 5 p.m. So it's about eight hours a day. Um, I might go back to the 8 a.m. start times. I don't know yet. I just kind of gave myself that extra hour once the kids started school. So we'll see. 
Um, but yeah, 9 a.m. Arizona time. I'm live. The first hour is usually just chilling, chatting, that sort of thing. And then we get into some video games later on the road. But I still talk to chat, still answer questions. So, you know, come on by. Um, so let's start there. Kids are back in school. Last week, uh, it's been two weeks now. Kids went back to school full time. Um, they love it. They love that they're in, back in school. And Bryce loves that he's in high school. But here we are at the end of week two. And it's hitting them that they're back in school. They're back in school and they're like, ah, oh, school sucks, right? Like the overall arching, like, oh, school sucks. I got to get up in the morning. I got to go sit in a classroom, boring, blah, blah, blah. But overall, they're, they're, they're excited to be back. They're excited to see their friends. They're excited to, um, you know, uh, get to do some cool stuff. Um, so Sierra's a junior and she's taking, um, I think, psychology or sociology I, I forget which one it's one of the two it's either psychology or sociology um and then she's taking f photography and she's absolutely stoked and loving photography so far uh they take pictures every day and she's loving it she's got and she's been getting into kind of photography the last couple of years but now she's actually fully doing it and she's loving it uh bryce is taking sports medicine and film and television now surprisingly He's not liking film and television. Um, he had some homework, a project he was working on last night, um, and he was kind of enjoying that. But overall, so far, the class, he's not digging the teacher and he's not digging the, um, you know, what they're doing so far. And we're like, relax, dude. It's only been a week. Give us, give us some time. Give us some time. Um, but, he, but he's really digging sports medicine so far and what they've talked about, what they're going to do, what it is, that sort of thing. Like, He's digging that so far. So who knows? He might find that, you know, he may not play sports or, or whatever, but maybe he wants to be in the sports you know, industry, which is like what I tell a lot of people all the time. Like maybe you, you know, yet your dream is to be a basketball player, but you're not good enough to be a basketball player. Well, guess what? There's a thousand other jobs you can do around the NBA, around basketball, right? Like it, literally there's thousands of jobs. So um, we'll see. I'll keep you guys updated on, on the kids and their schools and that sort of thing as, as time goes on. Um, Sierra made the varsity volleyball team. So that was something that I didn't vlog. And the reason why was because it, one, there was nothing else around to vlog with it. So it was like, it would have been like a literally a two minute vlog of like tryouts, varsity. That's it. Cause there just wasn't anything. It was a three day uh, tryout. The first day was like conditioning and like strength and like what your reach, what your vertical, you know, flexibility, that sort of thing. And then the, the day two was like actual drills and, and stuff like that. And the day three was kind of like, a little more intense and then that's when they made their decisions so she didn't make varsity yay we're stoked for her she's super pumped um she's more excited than anything to practice with them like she even said i will ride the bench all year just to be able to practice with them five and six days a week because she wanted to elevate her game and practice with the varsity team last year she kind of felt towards the end of the season she really wasn't getting much out of the practices with the JV team. Um, and so when she got moved up to varsity for the playoffs and she got to practice with them for like two or three weeks, she was like, that was like the best time of the year. It was the uh, best time of the season was to practice with the varsity girls. So she's stoked to be on the varsity team and um, she'll, she'll most likely get playing time as well, just because of the way things are going to work. So that's not too much of a shocker that Sierra made the varsity volleyball team. What is a shocker is Bryce out of left field says, Hey, they're doing this after school basketball camp. Can I go? And we're Tiffany and are like, of course you can go like, but I thought you were done with basketball. And he's like, well, I mean, it's just a camp. It's just, you know, hanging out, playing ball with my buddies. And we're like, okay, but it's not exactly like that. You have to get a physical. You do need to buy new shoes because you've outgrown your other shoes. Cause you haven't played basketball in almost two years. Uh, and it's three nights a week. So surprisingly, out of nowhere, Bryce is like, basketball? He did say he's going to try out for the team. Um, it is a tryout, so there's no guarantees he makes the team, which, you know, it is what it is. He hasn't touched basketball in almost two years, so if he doesn't make the team, it's on him, you know. But he's going to try out, so we'll see. This camp is good for him. He needs this. He needs the training. He needs the practice to get back into it. For those of you who've been asking and wondering, uh, he did he quit basketball. Uh, you know, with the beginning of the of 2020, his club that he was with, the coach moved schools and broke the club up, so the club was no more. And his school, because of COVID, didn't do any sports at all the entire year. There were no sports, so there was no you know there was no volleyball, there was no basketball. And you know, I don't know if you guys realize this, but Bryce doesn't ever play basketball outside of practices and games. 
He had that basketball court in that our old house, and the kid never went out there and played basketball. If he did, it was when a friend came over, or we were in the pool, and we were playing around in the pool, and then he would get out, shoot a couple hoops, and then jump back in the pool, right? Like, he never just went outside and played basketball. And then when we moved, we had a basketball court right around the corner from our house. Like, he, like, like less than five-minute walk, he could walk to a basketball court. He never went. Where we live now, there's a basketball court, again, about a five-minute walk. I think he's been there one time and only because his friends asked him to. So again, yeah, Bryce has played basketball for years. He enjoys it, but it's not a passion of his. And when I say a passion, it's something that you want to do in your free time. He doesn't. He doesn't want to play basketball in his free time. He likes playing uh, in games. He loves playing it and he loves just shooting around. But the drills and the this, like he doesn't have time for that. You know, Um, he's a gamer. He's a gamer. He's like, I'm a gamer. He's a gamer. He's following my footsteps. He's he's digging uh, Twitch. He's been streaming two days a week for almost a year. Almost, he's coming up on his one year anniversary on Twitch. So for those of you who don't know, he streams on Twitch uh, two days a week. Right now, it's it's been Tuesdays and Thursdays, but he's getting ready to change that because of his basketball thing. Um, but yeah, it's Gamer Bryce fifteen, and he's loving it. He's he's loving it. So that might be his future as a, as a gamer and potential streamer. So we'll see. We'll see. But for now, uh, he's going to do some basketball camps and do some things um, with the school. So we'll see. Again, keep you updated on that. Um, because the kids were going back to school and because we live in a state that does not require masks, they're not mandating masks um, for anything, really, uh, including schools, um, the kids decided to get vaccinated. And so they got their second shot this last week. Uh, so within the next, you know, 10 days, they'll be fully vaccinated, which is a peace of mind for me personally. Um, but also, you know, for them as well, they're just like, yeah, better safe than sorry. You know, we kind of waited. It, they wanted to wait it out. We all were just like, I got vaccinated right away because I'm just like, you know, I believe in that shit. I believe in I believe in it. And I just better safe than sorry. I'd rather get it done, get it over with and be, you know, moving on. Um, Tiffany and the kids wanted to wait more. So Tiffany, but the kids were just more like, you know, for their kids. Made it through the summer, but things are getting worse. So they decided to get, to get the vaccine. And, you know, I was in full support of that. So family's full vaccinated. It feels awesome. Um, so they're they're doing that. For those of you who knew that and asked about it, um, Sierra had no side effects. She's like me. I had no side effects. I was tired the first night. I went to bed early. That was it. She got her shot and or she played volleyball, got her shot the next day, played volleyball again. No problems. Bryce and Tiffany, on the other hand, got a mild headache and felt tired and kind of just off. Like they just knew something was off um, the next day. But then come Friday morning, they woke up and they were back to normal. So just literally one day of like just feeling off. The next day they were fine. So again, just want to share that information with you guys, share that story with you guys. Um, Okay, so let's move on to, oh, there's so many things. And this is all, this is in a crazy order. So I apologize. I just was literally writing things down that came to mind that I wanted to give you guys updates on. Uh, so this is kind of out of order here, but I'm just going to go down the list so I don't miss anything. Um, I've been playing a lot of Magic the Gathering. If you guys don't know, Magic the Gathering is a card game. Uh, it's a real card game, like a paper paper card game. Um, looks like this. This is actually a Magic card right here. I used to play this when I was a kid, uh, middle school, early 90s. Um, it's the original card game. So all other card games, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh!, whatever came from this hearthstone is, a, is an online version i've been playing the online game the the magic the gathering arena it's free to play by the way totally free to download you can play on your phone tablet mac pc i love it um it's basically what i've been streaming i've been, I've been playing i've been streaming uh, escape from tarkov that's my main game now i don't really play destiny a whole lot these days um escape from tarkov is my main game and then magic and i've been loving it i've been really getting into it so i'm pretty stoked about it um I don't know why I'm telling you about that just other than like I'm really into it. But um, because it you play it on mobile and they can, and it's cross save, right? Cross save, cross play. I've been playing more on my phone. I've been playing mobile. And, and, you know, I love my iPhone, but this to me is not ideal for gaming. I just this is not how I want to play my games. Um, so I decided to buy an iPad. I haven't I haven't bought an iPad in like five years. I have the original iPad Air and it's so old that he couldn't update it to the latest the latest iOS, which means I couldn't install magic. So when we went on vacation uh, a few weeks ago, about a month ago now, um, I used Bryce's iPad 
And I was like, yeah, I miss having an iPad. I do like my iPad air. I stopped using cause it was janky and old and I got an, I got a, a laptop. And so I was using my laptop all the time. Um, so I bought, I bought, I bought an 11 inch iPad pro, uh, and I love it. I, I just got a case for it yesterday and, 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 you know, it's just nice. It's on the couch with it. And, you know, it's just an, a bigger screen for an iPhone. Um, you know, the apps and, and the way things work, love my laptop. I'll use my laptop all the time, but I miss the feeling of an iPad. So first thing I bought in for myself, you know, just purely as a, as a, a leisure thing in a long time. Pretty much everything I buy for myself is business expense. I need it for, you know, streaming, YouTubing, whatever. Like I can, or at least I can justify it that way. Right. Um, so that was kind of cool to get that. Um, so a couple of weeks ago, um, I traveled for the first time. Well, I guess it would technically be the second time I've, I traveled to Denver for serious volleyball, but travel for the first time for again, you know, leisure or whatever. Um, a friend of mine, uh, had some vacation time he had to take. And so I decided to go with him on his vacation and we didn't really do anything, so to speak. We went to this small little, you know, podunk town called Rio Vista in California, right off the Sacramento river. Uh, really not much going on there, but it was just a, it was just two days of just bro time talking to him, uh, sharing stories. Uh, I met one of his best friends, his mentor. So we, the three of us hung out for a day and it was just, it was just an awesome bro weekend. Right. Um, but the significance of the story is that on the way back home, we, you know, we drove to the San Jose airport and while we were sitting at the airport waiting for our flights, there's this little tiki bar called Trader Vic's. Little did I know that that is the, that is the bar that the original Mai Tai was created. And I love Mai Tais, right? Also, little did I know, and I, I mean, I did know this, but again, this is all a reminder to me. Mai Tais don't have fruit juice in them, right? When you go to a resort or you go to a, you know, a bar, most bars, like I'll take a Mai Tai. It's, it's rum, pineapple juice, orange juice, splash of grenadine, splash of dark rum, right? That's, that's a Mai Tai. And I love those. Don't get me wrong. That sounds, I love pineapple juice, orange juice. I love rum. Like, give it to me. I'll take it. But that's not a Mai Tai. So we pull up to Trader Vic's. I pull up their menu. It's all tropical drinks. I'm like, oh, I'm in heaven, right? Because I love, I love tropical drinks. I love fruity drinks. Um, and I'm like, well, I want, I want a Mai Tai. I want the original Mai Tai. So I get the original Mai Tai. It is delicious. Um, I, I go back to my, my DMs because I remember somebody sharing with me their Mai Tai recipe. And it's pretty much identical to their recipe like the original recipe i'm like okay this is amazing when i get home i'm buying the ingredients and i'm gonna make some mai tai so that's what i did i came home and i went to the liquor store and i bought pretty much everything that i needed except for one ingredient i can't find this one ingredient no one carries it in stock it's rare i gotta order it but i hit my buddy up um and a shout out to chef wayne from king's coast uh, i said I, I can't find this one ingredient do you have something else that i could buy that substitute it close enough and he's like, well, to be honest with you, Mai Tais are like margaritas. You can, there's the basic ingredients, but you can kind of do whatever you want with it, right? It's rum and it's these two things. So he tells me about this. He says, I've been using this one rum called, he called it bamboo or bamba or whatever. I go, you mean bamboo? And he's like, oh yeah, that one. I said, bro, I just bought a bottle of that because it's fucking delicious. It's like this vanilla, vanilla spice rum. And I swear to you, the aftertaste has a hint of banana, which is like, ah, and he's like, yeah, that's the stuff. I was like, oh my God, I love it. Okay, cool. So one weekend, my brother came over and some family and I made Mai Tais and oh my God, they were so good. Everyone loved them. Everyone loved them. They were like, this is the best Mai Tais I've ever had. And um, so good. So I've been kind of on a rum kick. Uh, Bamboo has like this X on the front of it. looks like a pirate bottle of rum. Uh, in fact, Tiffany even likes it. She bought another bottle of it because we were drinking it, drinking it down uh, with our Mai Tais and whatnot. Uh, but I'm kind of on a rum kick and I've been really digging that. I'm not a big, I'm not really a big drinker, but I love a good cocktail and I'll drink a couple cocktails, right? Like actual good cocktails. Um, you know, again, one of the advantages of living where we live now is we've got uh, restaurants and bars very close. And so it's nice to be able to get out a little more and just have one drink here and one drink there and, you know, that sort of thing. Um, so been digging that a lot. Um, yeah, so rum. Oh, I bought a book too. So I've been buying some things because of the, my ties. I bought a I bought a crushed ice like mallet and canvas bag, which is awesome. I can make my, make my own crushed ice, and then I bought this book called Smuggler's Cove. It's about the whole like you know the the famous tiki bar in San Francisco, um, tiki culture, a bunch of recipes. I'm pretty stoked about that. I've been kind of thumbing through that a little bit. Um, so yeah, that that's my little my new, my new rum adventure. I've been getting into. 
Um, all right, cool. Let's talk about my office, my studio. A lot of people are asking me about a setup video. Hey, Clint, when are you gonna make a setup video? Like, you've been in your house now for almost a year. When's the new setup video? And I, my response is always like, I'm not done yet. I know that my setup is not 100%, right? I did that in the last house, but the rental, I was there for months before I actually, you know, made a setup video. It's because I know my setup's not done yet. So I'm not gonna make a setup video. I'm not, this, I don't do the clickbait stuff. I don't do the, the make a video just to get the views and the money. Like, there's no reason for me to make a setup video and then a month later, six months later, even a year later, make another one, in my opinion. Like, my setup's not done yet. So I just got my new PC from Zydax PCs. Again, all my sponsors I mentioned, links are always in the descriptions, guys, of all my sponsors, partners. Please check them out. Um, I have discount codes pretty much on all of them, including Zydax PCs if you're looking for a game beam PC. So I just got my, I got a new PC from Zydax. It's gonna be my new streaming rig. I'm super stoked. I haven't even opened the box yet. It's been sitting in a box for almost two weeks now. And I'm like, I almost just peaked the other day because I'm, I'm really interested, but I want to capture my, I want to capture my, 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 what you can call it? Um, live i want to capture it live so um a reaction that's it so anyway i got my new pc and then when i got the new pc that prompted me to go okay i've got to disconnect all these wires and all these things to hook up the new pc i don't love my setup right now like so this is how i normally stream right the camera's here microphone's here this is my gaming pc and this is what i play on i don't love this my shoulder's been bothering the crap out of me for weeks i think it's because i'm using this elbow desk i'm too close to this elbow like i either need to slide my monitors further over and get more room or make some adjustments but anyway what i'm decided to do is i'm actually going to rearrange my desks i'm actually going to be facing this wall over here straight down the middle this will be now the new backdrop i don't know why that light went out uh I'm sorry. For those of you listening to the podcast, you're like, I can't see anything, dickhead. Yeah, sorry. I apologize. I'm I'm recording this for YouTube, so that's why it's uh, I'm talking as if you can see. Um. Anyway, the backdrop with all my all my crap behind me, you know, the 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 what you call it's the uh, the figurines and whatnot. That's that's what I'm talking about. That's gonna be my backdrop of when I when I uh, rearrange my camera and everything. So I think there we go. There we go. Sorry. Visuals. I'm a visual guy. There we go. Okay. Um, so yeah, the backdrop is going to be dead, dead center down the middle. And uh, that's what I'm changing. But I'm also making a lot of other changes to the setup. I'm going to put the PCs back on the desk so they'll be visible on stream. There'll be a separate dedicated camera uh, specifically for that. And uh, a couple other other cameras. I'm going to have multiple camera setups. I'm really stoked about making the changes, making the arrangements. Um, but that's coming very soon. In fact, I just got a shipment of the last bit of things that I needed from Elgato, another sponsor, um, wave panels and wave mic arms and, um, you know, mic arms and camera arms and lights. They have some light strips I'm going to put along the plants and, and along the desk and stuff like that. So I'm, I'm going all in on this desk and this new studio arrangement. So once that's done, within a, within a month or so, because I'm going to just bang, 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 finish everything out, you'll have a setup video. That'll, that'll definitely happen. And then with that being said, I know a lot of you guys are waiting for a backyard tour video. We've had some mess. We have said had, had some things, little hiccups with the backyard. We've lost a couple of plants that happens, right? There's shock and whatnot. We've lost a couple of plants and then we've been getting some rain finally. And some of our travertine bricks kind of fell and they need to be replaced. So, um, once those get replaced and fixed, everything's looking back to normal again, our plants are looking good again, I will do a tour. Um, and I'm really excited about it because I already kind of thought about how I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it during the day, but then also do it in the evening so you guys can see the lights because we've got lights. It's really cool. Um, and the spa as well, the hot tub. So uh, I haven't forgot about the backyard tour. It just hasn't been a good time to do it because I want to make the look, make sure it looks good. We're still buying things for the backyard. like We replaced all the cushions. and So there'll be a backyard tour again when I'm ready. I, I, I'm not in a hurry. I'm not in a rush. It's not a priority for me. Sorry. Sorry. It's not a priority. Um, so it'll uh, it'll come when it comes. Okay. So just be patient with me. I appreciate it. With that being said, let's talk about Clintus TV. Let's talk about my YouTube channel. Um, as I said earlier, there was no vlog today because I haven't vlogged anything in almost two weeks. And the reason for that is because A, I'm not really doing much of anything, right? Like, um, you know, when I started Clintus TV, when I started doing the daily vlogs, I had a full-time job. I went to work, you know, 10 hours a day. I'd come home from work and depending on the night of the week, it'd be me and the kids, right? Well, the kids were younger. They were little. 
and you know they needed to be occupied and so it was easy to be like hey let's go to the park hey let's go to the arcade hey let's go bowling hey let's you know walk around target and look at toys and play goof around like it was easy to be goofy and then vlog it and then it was fun entertainment right you fast forward to today i got two teenagers that don't want to do anything with me. <laughs> I mean, realistically, like, you know, like they want to do their own thing. Sierra is super busy, right? She's got volleyball. She's got a job. She's got a boyfriend. Like she's busy. She's a 16 year old teenager. That's like, I'm out. Bryce is almost there where he's like, he's got a group of friends. He plays games with every night. They get in their discord call and they just hang out. They're hanging out. Their bros hanging out, you know, after school now. And so like just the other, just yesterday he would hung out. He like, he went out, he met up with two of his friends and they were out all afternoon, right? Into the evening until dinner. I can't vlog that. I'm not going to walk around vlog. You know what I'm saying? So there's just, there's less for me to vlog with them. And then when they are home again, it's just like, I don't know. It's just, it's, they're, they're basically little adults. So vlogging is just more difficult now, unless we're doing something, we're doing something. And then I'm capturing those moments and saying, look at, we're doing these things. What do you think about this? You guys ever done this? Like, which is what I love to vlog. I love to share moments, right? So fast forward to today, I'm, I'm streaming eight, eight to 10 hours a day, right? Just like my old job. But when I get off, like I said, everyone's busy. And even on the weekends, there's been a couple of weekends where I didn't vlog anything because again, I just didn't feel like what I was doing was vloggable either because I'm with people who don't want to be vlogged or I'm doing things that I just don't think is interesting enough to share. Which brings me to what I'm thinking about for the future. Now, I believe that video, which you're, if you're watching this on YouTube right now, or if you're listening to this, imagine YouTube videos, right? It's visual. Video is visual, right? So things need to be happening on screen. What I'm doing right now is I'm recording a podcast, which is an audio podcast, but I turned on the camera so that I could put it on YouTube. Double dip, right? One makes revenue, one doesn't. One is purely uh, content for content. The other one is, hey, by the way, did you know I have a podcast, right? Advertising, that kind of thing. If you don't know, I've got 70 episodes in the back. Go ahead and start catching up, right? Um, I feel like for it to be on YouTube, there needs to be a video element to it, a visual element. But with that being said, I also recognize that we've got 15 years worth of history on this channel, right? And for the most of it, most of it has been documenting my life. Clintus TV has always been about my life, not my kids. It was never about my kids. It was always about my life. At that time, and still to this day, I'm a dad, right? I'm a father. So here, I'm sharing my, 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 my life with you, my, my family's life, my child, my kid's childhood, because this is what I'm experiencing. This is what I'm going through. These are things I'm doing, and here are my thoughts, and here are my opinions. And, you know, of course, you get into the YouTube thing, and you start, you know, getting into it. And so you start kind of, you know, doing things that will make it a more better, an entertaining vlog. You have an excuse to do something. Like, oh, we can do this because it's for YouTube. It's for the vlog, right? Um, and before I quit my job, literally YouTube paid for those things. Like, okay, cool. Extra money to do these things, to make the vlogs. And you know, they paid for itself. So what I'm kind of thinking about now is what if, and this is a big, what if, all right, what if I went back to a daily check-in, a daily vlog that was like a journal. So let's say every night or maybe even the next morning, depending on how my night goes, right? Could be fun if I've had a few cocktails, right? Um, I get on, I, I sit down just like this, right? Again, if you're watching this, this is what it looks like, right? If you're listening to this, it's me sitting at my desk. I felt as if I was on stream. And I just go, all right, guys, today is August 14th, Saturday, 10, 52 a.m. And this is, this is my day. And then I just go into the details of the day. So they're kind of fresh in my mind, walk you through my day. Some days might be completely like I woke up in the morning, made a cup of coffee. I had like a coconut creamer, creamer. It's coconut cream creamer. It's, it's good. It's all right. It's good. You know, whatever. Talked to Tiff for a little bit and then came on the stream. Um, you know, I streamed uh, Escape from Tarkov for about four hours. I played with uh, some buddies of mine. You know, it was crazy. This one moment happened. This Like basically like a journal or a diary where you break down and there's going to be some days where it's just like straightforward, nothing happened. But there's going to be some days where maybe something happened. 
Maybe there was a discussion that I had. Maybe there was an argument that I had, um, you know, and I can pick and choose what details I want to share. But like every day I'm like giving you guys these little updates. Right. And I feel like that's pretty easy to do, even when I'm traveling, even when I'm like maybe somewhere else, because I can just pull up my phone and 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 record right from my phone and upload. Right. It's one take for the most part. This podcast is one take. I don't, I don't there's no edits. Right. And so because another reason I don't vlog as much is because every morning when I get on Twitch, I am sharing my thoughts, my experiences. I'm telling people what I did yesterday. Right. I already do that for the most part, which is why when I get done streaming for eight to 10 hours, I don't feel like picking up a camera and doing it all over again. Right. That's really, really what ultimately is kind of slowly deteriorated the YouTube and the content because I'm doing this. I'm getting the same fulfillment for me, me personally, me talking to a camera, me talking to an audience, but I'm doing it live on Twitch versus recorded on YouTube, which is what I used to do. Right. It's evolution. People get different jobs, right? You used to work at, I don't know, you used to work at Starbucks. Now you work at American Express, right? You used to be a barista. You still have that coffee knowledge and you still got history, but now you work for a credit card company and, and you know, manage a team of sales reps or whatever. Like people change. I used to be a full-time vlogger. I used to be a daily vlogger. Now I'm a full-time streamer, gamer, right? But I still vlog. I still might maintain my YouTube channel. So I'm thinking that that might be because because again going back to what did I said the the core of Clintus TV what Clintus TV was always about was sharing my thoughts sharing my ideas sharing my life experiences and then having a conversation about it right some point in the last ten years though YouTube has changed to less conversations and more of just like sensational it's entertainment right people just want to go there to be entertained just like they're watching TV right. Turn on the TV, you want to be entertained. That's what YouTube turned into in the last decade, mostly for a younger demographic, right? Kids, they watch YouTube. They don't watch TV. And now it's even more so TikTok, right? So I feel like, and this goes with a lot of my content, this podcast, it goes with uh, my streams on Twitch. I've been kind of like reevaluating myself, reevaluating my content and saying, what is it that I actually do? What What does I actually do well? What is it I actually enjoy doing and saying, you know what? Double down on that. Double down on what it is that I do and do well and enjoy doing. And that's this. It's talking. It's, you know, it's, it's I, this podcast is called Riffing with Clintus. Riffing is this, this free form con, like consciousness of just thoughts and ideas and just, you know, or, you know, just if shit just coming out. Right. Um, I, I've been listening to a, a podcast uh, from Pauly Shore, right? The actor, comedian. He's like 52 now or whatever. He's got a, a podcast called Pauly Shore's Random Rants. And when I first started listening to it, he had other people on the on the show with him. He had like a producer. He'd do it live on a stage from time to time. But because of COVID and other things, he's now doing it by himself in his house or in his hotel room when he's traveling. And it's, it is the most random shit. Like it's, I'm not gonna lie, sometimes it's kind of hard to follow him because he bounces around so much, but he is just as funny, just as crazy, silly, goofy as Pauly Shore ever was, and I love it. And I'll, I'll listen to this podcast on my walks or when I'm driving my car, and I'm like, this, this is, this is what I would, this is me, this is, this is what my podcast has been for the last year, right? I haven't done guests in over a year, and it's like, it's just me, but I needed to like go all in on it. I need to double down on it, right? So... I was in the shower the other day and this is where I came up with the idea about the daily journal on, on YouTube. And I was like, okay, so let's say I do, maybe, maybe I just do Monday through Friday, Monday through Friday. I do a daily check-in vlog, right? Give you the update on the day of, this is what I did today. This is what happened. This is my thoughts. This is what I'm feeling here. Are, here's my thoughts. Cause there's days where I get down on myself. I wouldn't, I don't want to say I get depressed. Cause I feel like depressed depression is like a much further down the road, darker tunnel. I just get bummed out a lot. Right. I, I see things, I read things, my mind, my imagination starts wandering. I have these like internal conversations in my head that literally bum me out. I literally talk myself into a, you know, frowny face, like, man, fucking sucks, right? Kind of shit, right? That's when I need to sit down and be fired up, right? That's what a journal's for. Journaling, right? Like writing things down, affirmations, like get it out, get it out. Well, I don't write things down. I talk it out, right? I've always said how my, my vlog, my YouTube channel used to be my therapist. When I had a bad day, I pulled the camera and vlog it. 
sometimes I would vlog it, take do two or three takes and then never post it. Cause I'm like, well, I'm, I feel better now. I don't need to post this. Right. I talked it out. So I, like, I feel like there's be some, there'll be definitely some days where you're going to see me kind of in a mm, mood. Right. And I think if I started doing it on a regular basis, you got used to knowing it every day, a new video came out. You're like, Oh, let's check in with Clintus. Right. I think it might work. So I'm thinking this idea, I'm kicking the idea around. But then once a week, I do a podcast here on Riffing with Clintus, which is like a weekly recap, not as detailed, talk about more of the highlights. And or if I have a topic that like, okay, something happened on Wednesday. I talked about it on the Daily Journal on Clintus TV, but now I want to go more in detail about it, about that one specific thing. And this episode of Riffing with Clintus is all about that one thing, right? I can still have guests, that sort of thing. But that's kind of where I'm thinking about. Again, going, I talk about stuff live on Twitch every day, but I'm also playing games and it's kind of more gamer focused and gamer centric, right? Talking about whatever video game I'm playing at the time or something in the gaming industry. But more than anything, it's just a place to hang out. I, I want people, especially people who, who work at an office job or a desk job, like being able to pull my stream up in the background, whether they talk in chat or not and lurk and like they're hanging out with me, right? Maybe they work home alone. Maybe they're by themselves. Normally listen to a podcast or music, but now they're listening to me. I love that. I love my lurkers. I appreciate the hell out of them. That's all I want is give people a place to come hang out. So that's what that content is. That's what that platform is for, right? And you got YouTube, which just said, I'm still going to vlog highlights, birthdays, holidays, vacations, trips, big OMG moments. Those are still going to get vlogged regardless if I do this daily journal thing, right? Take a couple clips of whatever it is I'm telling you. Maybe I take two clips of something with the kids. That's not enough for a vlog, right? But I could do this, this journal thing and then slap a clip in. Sla you know, like talk about what I'm doing, talk about the thing and then bam, here's a video clip, right? These are all things I've been like noodling around, kicking around, right? This, this is all something I had like when I was in the shower the other day. Um, so that's kind of what I'm kicking around. Um, my vlog anniversary is coming up i believe in october um i just passed my channel anniversary in july so i'm kind of in between anniversaries right july is when the channel was created october is when i started vlogging i don't know if i want to wait till october i might start in september you know like september's around the corner so maybe september 1st stay tuned uh, with that being said i'm also thinking about kicking and doing a new channel trailer i don't even have a channel trailer at the moment i took it down because the it was so old and i really don't do daily vlogs anymore so maybe a new channel trailer as well to kind of explain what the channel is now um because it's evolving right it's growing up clint's tv is all grown up um so yeah stay tuned for that more updates on clint's tv again i know a lot of people get discouraged and they you know like it sounds it seems like you gave up man it seems like you don't even want to do this it's not that it's just it's different my love and my passion is different for it right like i mean hell it's, it's just like relationships right like people fall out of love whether you're married or not, right? There are divorces, like it happens, right? You have a best friend for how many years and then you just kind of grow apart, right? Like it happens. There's no one thing that like ruined the relationship. You just kind of grew apart. And that's kind of where I'm at. I've kind of just grown off, grown apart from YouTube and the vlogs. So I'm trying to come up with something new to keep it going because you may, may not know it or not, but the channel's still growing. Last month, I picked up 600 new subs. I know it's not a lot, but we're still growing. We're in the green every month. We're growing in subscribers. So there's a possibility that I get the gold play button someday, right? I'm still, I'm still going for it until the channel starts going to the negative where I'm every day losing subs or every month I'm losing subs. Then I know my time's done. Now it's time. The channel's officially dead. Now the gold play button will never happen. So fuck it. But right now we're in the green. We're moving up, baby. All right, moving on. Um, family moves. So uh, again, some of you guys already know this already, but uh, my dad bought not one, but two houses last year. Uh, one was a brand new build that he wanted to like design everything and, and, and do all the things. Um, he was in a lottery for it, right? Because house markets are like crazy right now. Everyone's trying to buy houses and no one can find them, right? He ended up buying a house on one side of my neighborhood and then literally... Two days later, got drawn for the lottery for the new build on the other side of the neighborhood. And he didn't know what to do. He's like, ah. Oh. And so his realtor just said, look, buy them both. Take the first one. You'll live there for six months while this one's being built. And then you can turn it and flip it and sell it, or you can rent it out. Well, thankfully, my youngest brother was like, yo, I want to get the hell out of my house. I'll rent that house from you. 
you take your other house and then boom, you know, we're both happy. I get a new house, you got a renter, we're good. So that's what they did. My dad lives in his brand new house on one side, about mm, two and a half miles from me. And my youngest brother lives on the other side about mm, four miles away. Like, fucking awesome. I got one brother and my dad living within five minutes of me is awesome. And then my middle brother, who lives about 35 minutes away, loves where we live and comes and visits every weekend. In fact, he's coming over tomorrow. Like, I am so happy right now. Like, the only thing that we're not, we haven't quite figured out yet is my mom. Um, you know, in case you didn't know, my mom and dad got a divorce a couple years ago and uh, she has her own place about an hour away. And so that sucks because she lives an hour, it's an, it's an hour each way. So it makes it very difficult to do stuff with her. Um, she works very early in the mornings. And so, you know, and she's older, she's in her 60s, so she needs her sleep. So she goes to bed early. Um, you know, she's definitely that, that stereotypical, like in bed by like, 7 30 8 o'clock at night because she gets up at so early in the morning so it's very hard for us to get together and do stuff with her it's a long drive for either one of us if you know if i go see her or she comes sees me and, and it's basically an all-day event um so don't get to see her as much as i'd like we're trying to work something out trying to figure something out for her uh, again market right now is crazy so now's not a good time but at least i got my dad and one of my brothers and then like i said the other brother visits all the time so the three of us four of us are hanging out all the time it's been really awesome it's been it's and it's funny because my last house i bought had two guest rooms and a pool and a big backyard and the idea was everybody come to my house drink drink don't worry about driving and stay the night and nobody wanted to nobody nobody wanted to i don't think, I don't think my brothers ever stayed the night at my house my mom did a couple times but that was it like i think tiffany's brother and sister once twice maybe i don't know I, it was just so funny. And then we buy this house. We downsize. We're like, all right, screw you guys. No, no extra beds for you. And everyone's coming over on a regular basis. I don't know. Whatever. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty awesome. It's pretty, pretty awesome to have family that close and actually be able to see each other and hang out. Um, let's talk about my plants. I am still very much into my plants. Um, I finally got my shelf almost filled up. I, you know, I, I'd lose a plant here and there and take me a while to re restock it. I've got the bottom row basically left to fill. Uh, which I'm not too worried about, but um, it's finally looking good. Um, when I rearrange my office and my desk, I am going to figure out a more permanent solution for that because I want to get some lights back there. Like it's it's dark. You can't, you can't really, you can see there's plants back there, but you can't really see the plants. I would love to have a camera up close to be able to see the plants close up, have some lights back there and possibly another plant stand on the other side of the room. And we have two plant stands and kind of fill it out more, right? Um, when I move my desk around, I'm also going to be facing some windows. So we get some natural light in here. So that might also help. Um, but yeah, the cool part is, is that I got Tiffany into plants. Now she's been buying plants and she's been taking care of plants out in the house. We've got plants everywhere. I, I haven't done a plant count. I know it's something that a lot of plant people do. I haven't done one in a while, but I would guess to say we're close to around 30 plants or more. Um, I should do that. I should count and find out. But anyway, we've got plants everywhere. We're getting plants on our back porch. That's another reason why the backyard tour hasn't happened yet because all our plants got burned from just the extreme heat. Um, so we're kind of waiting for those to kind of recover. We didn't lose any. They just look crappy. They're coming back. New buds are sprout, sprouting and stuff like that. So um, yeah, big plant daddy vibe right here, man. I'm loving my plants. Loving my plants. Uh, backyard. I mentioned that tour video will come eventually. We've got some stuff we need to work on. Uh, a lot of people ask me if I ever figure out the lights in my spot. Yay. I figured that out really quickly the next week. Uh, so we got we got all kinds of light effects in the in the hot tub and whatnot. Really looking forward to the weather getting cooled off so that a we can enjoy the hot tub a little more. Um, and b I can't wait to use my fire pit, man. I got this fire pit built and it looks awesome when it's lit up, but it's just too damn hot to to use it. It's wasting gas. Um, so I can't wait for it to be cooler to to use that and utilize that. I'm really really stoked about that. Um, Sierra's still working her job. She's obviously down to just weekends because she's back in school. Uh, but now that she's made the varsity team, she will literally only be able to work uh, Sundays and maybe Saturday nights if she, like if they she they they schedule her for a Saturday night. But I don't know if she wants to do that. She might just literally have to work Sundays. So she's gonna try and hold on to the job as long as she can uh, because once school volleyball is over and she starts club, she'll be able to work like two or three days a week because club volleyball is only two days a week. School volleyball is five to six days a week. So she plans on maintaining her job uh, for as long as she can. So. She's digging it. She's enjoying it. Uh, she's already moved uh, roles. 
being trained in other departments and uh she's really digging it she's really really digging it um merch let's talk about merch so if you didn't know or tried to buy merch the last month the store has been down um we put up some new merch in the store and we got a bunch of prints out and there was some problem with the prints people were getting their shirts back with like lines in my logo and different color like fades and stuff like that and so the quality was just horrible um when i asked them about it they're like yeah that's not right let me look into it and long story short it took them a while to get it figured out and sorted i just got three new shirts back with the new printing they look good i'm i'm happy so the merch store should be back up and running next week um and once it is i've got some new ideas new designs that i'm going to push out as well so hopefully soon we'll have some new new merch as well as just getting the merch store back up and running again so i know a lot of people have been wanting to get a sweatshirt or you know a tank top or whatever stay tuned new merch on the way and that's it there you go you guys are all caught up on what's been going on in my life the last month or so um i i, I literally touched all the things on my to, on my list that i made which feels awesome i actually did it thank you very much um but yeah that's it that's it guys i thank you so much for listening or watching this uh people who listen to this on the podcast on your podcast feeds uh thank you i thank you for being patient i know i lost a lot of you listeners uh, because i was inconsistent that's what happens you know people who want to be content creators consistency is key because there you go the moment you stop posting people forget about you <laughs> it happens they find someone else to watch and listen to so thank you if you're still listening to this i really do appreciate it um again trying to figure out a cadence really at this point it's, it's a cadence of like what content goes here what content goes there when do i sit down and hit record you know, instead of trying to be like a scheduled thing, I literally just need to, when it, when the moment hits me, sit down and hit record, you know, just do it. Just do it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to do it. Um, Twitch is going very well. Twitch is my main platform. Twitch is my main form of content. I'm very happy with where things are at. I'm content. You know, I, I say this on, on a regular basis. I'm not, I don't consider myself super entertaining, right? I'm not an entertainer. Uh, I'm not super good at video games, right? All the games I play, I'm mediocre at best. Um, you don't go there to watch AAA gameplay. You don't go there to be to laugh and and you know like again, I, I give you a place to come hang out with other cool people, make some friends, talk about video games, talk about you know your kids, my kids, whatever. And so you know if that means that I only you know I I, I sit around 100 viewers or less, then that's it. That's that's the, I'm happy with that. Again, think about that number of people, right? Imagine putting a hundred people in a Starbucks. Imagine putting a hundred people in a bar. Like that's a good number of people. And I'm very happy with that. And so that's where my time and energy goes. Anytime I think about new stuff, it's always talking about Twitch. It's always thinking about Twitch. It's always, you know, and I know you guys on YouTube and probably even on the podcast are like, yeah, we get it. We get it. We get it. It's all about Twitch. No, nope, that's my new hotness. And you know, I could very easily have just stopped YouTube. I could have just been like, you guys, I'm a streamer now. Bye. But no, I, I understand that there's a loyal audience on YouTube. I understand that there's people that only watch YouTube. And, um, you know, that's why I want to continue maintaining uh, the audience we built there, right? I've, it's been 15 years, 780,000 subscribers and growing. And so, uh, yeah, I appreciate every moment of attention you give me wherever you give it to me, whether it's on the podcast, on YouTube, on Twitch, on Twitter, Instagram. I appreciate you guys. Thank you very much. Um, as always, subscribe where you listen to podcasts. It's free audio form. There's about 70 or so episodes that you can go back and listen to. There's ones with Bryce, Sierra. I've had guests, other gamers and streamers on there. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, subscribe. More videos coming for sure. Like I said, um, I'm kicking this idea around this like this daily journal thing, and I, I'm 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 liking what I'm I'm liking kind of where I'm going with it. I might do like maybe like a 30 day trial. That's what I do with the daily vlogs. I, I gave myself 30 days of the daily vlogs. And after 30 days of doing it, I was like, this is easy. I'll keep doing this. So maybe I'll do it, go back to the daily life updates. Go from there. So uh, links in the description down below. All my sponsors, partners, all my social. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram. The little pop ups have been popping up on the screen. I left those on by accident, but cool. Reminders of all those things. And, um, have a great rest of your day. Have a great week. And I will see you next time.
Peace out.